Good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday, December 15th. It is 7.50 in the morning. As you can see, I'm already hard at work at my desk. I got a hair that's sticking out over here all weird. I don't know what's going on with that hair, but okay. We're just going to flip our hair the other way. Okay. Uh, good morning. It's Tuesday. We're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow and not a light one. It's supposed to be a big snowstorm. They're calling for anywhere between five inches. Actually, it's higher than that. They're supposed to be, it's supposed to be five to eight inches during the day. And then an additional 12 to 14, 10 to 14, something like that overnight. Actually, let me look at this. I just, uh, December 14th at four o'clock. This probably isn't updated. Um, but we're supposed to get a lot of snow. Um, John's one coworker, they're now virtual. So they were on talking this morning. Um, while I was still getting dressed and ready and stuff. Yeah, they're saying 14 to 20 inches. <laughs> yeah, 14 to 20 inches is what they're saying. This is from one hour ago. Um, 14 to 20 inches of snow. So it's good that John's snowblade showed up yesterday and he was giving me crap about buying it because it was out of stock when we bought the other stuff. And I was like, it's, you know, it's not too expensive. I'll just buy it later. And I had a an alert on the website. So when it came back in stock, it was supposed to alert me, which it did. And I went ahead and bought it and it showed up yesterday. It's not put together. John's going to put together tonight, but it showed up yesterday and i um, just honestly very thankful that it did because if it really is 14 to 20 inches of snow, we have a huge driveway, like huge driveway. So let me show you, if I can show you out the window here. <clears throat> so. Um, first and foremost, it goes the whole way over there. It goes to that barn. That's what we call the barn. It's just a detached garage. And it comes this way and comes to the two car garage over here. Then it loops the whole way around and it loops the whole way around. And then it goes the whole way around the house to the drive, to the road. And we aren't close to the road. Let me show you how close we are to the road. Let me see if I can get you a good view here. Um, we have a big driveway. So, I'm gonna open the front door here. It does come in here, so there's a loop in here where my car's parked, but you can see how far we are away from the road. Um, probably doesn't come up really well on the, on the camera because, you know, depth perception on video is not very great, but Long story short, we have a very large driveway. So we still have our snow blower that we had at the other house. And our driveway now is probably five or six times bigger than the other driveway was. And it would take John an hour ish to do the other driveway of course it all depends on how much snow we get you know what i mean like if we end up getting now they're saying 14 to 20 but come on let's be honest the only job you can have that you are wrong 90 percent of the time is being a meteorologist right <laughs> let's be honest so um we could end up getting five inches of snow which is the smaller end of what they were calling for right so we end up getting a five inches of snow but even at five or six inches of snow that is a lot of snow removal for this size of driveway. So, John got the snow blade. We also have a couple of snow shovels, of course. We all, we've always had snow shovels. We live in Pennsylvania after all. So, <clears throat> I don't know how long it'll take to, to get this driveway done. The one negative is that, you know, it was always nice because John was a school teacher. Well, he hasn't always been a school teacher. But he's been a school teacher for the last eight or nine years or whatever it's been. I think it's been eight. I think this is his ninth year. So, why are you not, why are you showing us away? That's weird. Um, school would close for snow, so he would be home. Now, before that, I actually did all the snow removal. Not all of it, but I would do as much as I could for as long as I could, especially when I was at home with Neil, because John used to work for an insurance company, and he would have to be at work. So, when I was home with Neil as a stay-at-home mom, um, I would do the snow removal. I would shovel the snow. So, 
Anyway, the snowblower that we have is not big enough to do this size of driveway. I mean, it's just, it's just not. So we got this snow blade, which is basically just a plow that you put on the front of the, um, nope, that's not what I'm gonna do. It's just a plow that you put on the front of a tractor or a lawnmower. I'm gonna show you a picture here in a second. It's 48 inch universal snow blade. And you're supposed to be able to hook it, <coughs> excuse me, to the front of your tractor or lawnmower. You guys see that? And then, yeah, like that. And then just basically plow the snow, right? So he's gonna put that together tonight and um, hopefully, <clears throat> every time I try to clear my throat, I can think of, anyway, hopefully, um, no matter how much snow we get tomorrow, he'll be able to handle it. So, anyway, um, my house is supposed to hit the market either today or tomorrow. My dad was like, finished cleaning the garage out. Which we don't really have that much left in the garage, honestly. There's really not that much left in the garage. Um, <clears throat> every time I try to clear my throat, I get the hiccups. Um, and well, problem is, is about half of what's left is just garbage. And John's like, I don't want to move garbage. But we don't really have that much of a choice. We have to get it out. We just have to. And he's very adamant that he doesn't want to move it. He's like, I just don't want to move it. Like, he's not being, like, mean about it. But he's like, I don't want to move garbage. I'm like, well, that's nice, but what else do you want to do? I mean, really. We have to get it out of there. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. Anyway. Um, yeah. So today we're gonna try to get a couple loads of stuff out of the garage. I really don't think it's that much left in the garage. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say good night to you guys. Not good night, it's only eight o'clock in the morning. Say goodbye to you guys and um, I'll see you later, bye. All right, you guys, it is just about 10 o'clock and I have been running since I've been out of work, to be honest. Literally, just nonstop since I got off work. Um, <clears throat> we went and did two loads from the house. Then we went, well, did we do three actually? We actually did three loads. We did two loads and then we went back a third time to replace a light bulb. So we did a third load. The third load was kind of a light load. We just did a ladder, a dolly, vacuum cleaner like one box it was just a really light load so we did three loads two full loads and then one just like light load if the, you know what i mean um we did three loads of stuff in the truck the second load and the third load no the first and the third the first and the third loads i think um we had ladders twice so that took up a lot of space so they weren't like packed full you know what i mean um, but we did get three loads done today. All that is left is garbage. That's it. We have boxes of boxes and bags of bags. That is all that's left in the garage. Boxes of boxes and bags of bags. <sighs> and some brooms. Um, my dad texted me and he's like, I'm showing your house tonight. <laughs> He actually has somebody from the neighborhood um, lives in someone lives in our neighborhood and their daughter apparently wants to move into the neighborhood so they wanted to come take a look so my dad actually showed the house tonight um, he's like it was a nice showing but no commitment or anything like that which I wouldn't expect I mean it's not even technically on the market yet my dad put his signs out because um, he didn't want to have to come down again just to put signs out. So we put the signs out uh, yesterday when he was here. And somebody called him today. I was like, we want to see the house. 
so tomorrow it's gonna go live i had to send him the pictures of the kitchen um which i did and um it's gonna go live tomorrow but we are getting like a foot of snow tomorrow our likelihood went from 18 to 24 inches down to like 14 inches is what they're expecting now so the uh storm has shifted a little bit more westward so it's not going to hit us as bad it's still gonna be a foot of snow um john got really frustrated with the snow blade and decided against putting it together so we'll see how it goes tomorrow apparently it's very difficult to put together it's like a whole bunch of steps and it's literally all parts even to the point that it's like bolts and part of the problem is that it's a universal snow blade so because it's supposed to be universal and you're supposed to be able to use it with pretty much any tractor that you have um you literally have to put it entirely together to the bolt like literally everything has to be put together so it's not super easy so no snow blade for tomorrow's snow um yeah we'll see how it goes luckily we don't have to go anywhere we don't have to go anywhere for days if we don't want to uh, we're all from home right now every one of us is from home right now so if we don't want to go anywhere we don't have to go anywhere so that's nice um i did clean up the little table here this was like stacked with paper now it's just a small little pile this is stuff i need to go through with john just to be sure of um what it is um but i went through that whole stack of paper i edited a vlog um up to, i'm up to the 11th so what is that only four days behind I think I just now uploading the, no, I'm up, I just edited the 11th. I think I'm just now uploading the 9th. I think the 9th is uploading. Let's take a look real quick. Um, let's see. Come on. Yeah, the 9th is uploading right now and I'm processing the 11th, so. The other thing I did today was I cleaned up part of my table. So um, you guys might not remember, but I had a whole bunch of stuff um, all over the table here. I had a box sitting here that had all of my nail polish and um, lashes. So I have all my nail polish stuff over here now and all my lashes over here. So I separated those out. Those used to be on my table behind my head. Um, but I got this all cleaned up. This just came today. This was my BoxyCharm add-on stuff. So this is all from November. So this is all my BoxyCharm add-on stuff. But I've got all my boxes from November over here. Those are my 12 Days of Christmas from Ulta and Target. Um, those are my December boxes. My Boxy Lux, my Ipsy, and my Ipsy Plus. And then I have my two Keto Crate and Keto Box for December down here. So I need to start filming like I really need to start filming and I think I will tomorrow because with it snowing and not having a way to dig out the driveway um I'm not going to be going to the old house tomorrow <laughs> um so there's that so I think I'm going to try to film tomorrow even if it's like a get ready with uh, see because I'm doing going to be doing two boxes for each video I don't think I'm going to do a get full get ready with me while opening the box. Um, yeah, so I might try to film a handful of videos tomorrow night, actually. I might do my Ipsy, my Ipsy Plus, uh, my Keto Box, my Keto Crate, and then my two 12 Days of Christmas boxes. I might do that. Which isn't outside of the realm of possibility because I'll get off at four, John will get off at three oh five. So I will be able to I gotta I gotta put all this stuff away though still. I 
still has so much put away. Like all my boxes are here. Like this had my my uh, boxy charm add-on stuff in it. So that's just an empty box. But like all three of these boxes is stuff that was on the desk behind my table. Um, and that desk is now in the third bedroom being used as a desk. So I don't know what to do with all that stuff. I gotta figure it out. I think I'm gonna put it on the alpha box over there. But for right now, the alpha box are holding my... Halloween blanket my super soft Halloween blanket which is right there and then below it is my iPad and my neck wrap um, my blood sugar testing stuff is and my uh, keto no that's all blood sugar I don't know what happened to my keto test strips I haven't come across those yet because I think this is all the blood sugar um, yeah these, this is all blood sugar so I don't know what happened to my keto, um, my keto uh, tester. I know where the tester is, but I don't know where the strips are. It's probably in one of these boxes still. And then I have stuff downstairs that were from my office as well. And I don't really have any space left in my office. I don't have any space left in my office. That is one thing. My old office was so big that I just don't have any space left in my office. So yeah yeah i might have to break down and get an alex nine drawer not that i really want to i don't really have space for it tbh um now once i get these boxes out of the way like once i get these boxes out of the way i can move my lights over here in front of the table and then i would be able to put like a nine drawer there in the corner in front of my nimini stuff um but I really don't want to have to buy more furniture, to be honest with you. So, this corner is just Wednesday's corner. <laughs> she sits on the blanket. That is Neil's uh, purple teddy bear. Um, he's had that for a long time. He got it from some restaurant when he was young, before Nick was born. And Wednesday tore the chest open, and I keep telling him I'm going to sew it. I haven't sewn it yet. I'm planning on sewing it for Christmas and giving it to him. Um, so that it's finally sewn so but i haven't sewn that yet so i'll probably sew that maybe i'll sew that tomorrow too i don't know i just gotta figure out where to put everything and then like i said i've got like four boxes downstairs of stuff that were from my office as well hey nick where you at this is what was in the back of my car from last night so i gotta go through all those boxes and like put that stuff away a lot of it is like like I have a thermos there's a thermos here and um water bottles from various those are garden gloves a bunch of different water bottles this is just a, tur a brand new turkey roaster that we got on clearance for a buck 50 I think I'm gonna use that at Christmas time I have to wash it out it's probably all dusty um yeah cleaning supplies I know a dog bowl um then this is I think this is just a bag of bags. Uh, those are John's um, chargers for his thing. Another water bottle. And then this is washcloths. And I think there's paint in there. And that sort of stuff. So, yeah. A lot of this stuff has to go in this closet right behind me anyway. This is where I have all of, like, my candles. All of my candles and, like, flashlights and stuff are in here. Um, batteries and cleaning supplies um, got a lot of cleaning supplies and tissues are in here too and I have toilet paper at the bottom and what else do I have? a shredder an old shredder which I think if I can find the rim I'm gonna put it in my office um, I have so many cleaning supplies and like they're all like that full like this is a spick and span antibacterial spray cleaner that I've probably had for eight years. And it's like that much left in it. Does it have a date on it? It's copyright 2009. Does that mean it was made in 2009? I don't know. I have a Lysol can that's all but empty. Now like this mold armor is brand new. I got <laughs> got a downy wrinkle releaser 
which is all but empty. And this was on my dresser at, at the old house and the spray bottle is broken, but it still works. Um, yeah. Another Lysol bottle, it's all but empty. What I need to do is just find the ones that are all almost empty and like use them up. Let me see if I can find that Nick. He's probably back in my bedroom to be honest with you because he is not in his bedroom and he's not in the third bedroom. But I gotta go through those things. I gotta start going through the stuff downstairs. So maybe I won't film six videos tomorrow. Um, we'll see. We'll see. It's gonna really come. I'm washing curtains right now. There was white curtains um, on this window. And then the, there's Nick. The windows in here had white curtains. And then, whoa. What are you doing? I'm gonna close out the block. And then over here, there were white curtains in the kitchen. So they're all in the washing machine right now. Um, with a little bit of bleach because they were kind of dingy. So we're trying to get those bleached. But we're not replacing all those curtains because I really don't care what they look like. So we're just washing them and then we're gonna dry them and then we're gonna put them back up. So, ready to close out the vlog? Well, today is fine yesterday. Well, hold on. I, today I am thankful that we actually got our first showing of our house. Even if somebody was just a looky-loo and they weren't actually intending to buy it, I'm still thankful that the house is literally not even on the market yet. It hasn't even been posted as a listing yet. And we've already had a person come and look at it. So, yeah. All right, Nick, kick us off. Well, today is better than yesterday. I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. Hope you have a great day. And we'll we will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow. I really wish we would get that washing machine. We are gonna move the new, the uh, our, we're gonna move our washing machine probably in the next, if not this coming weekend, then next weekend. No, not next weekend, because next week's Christmas. Yeah. Probably the week between Christmas and New Year's we'll move it, if we don't move it this weekend, so. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye.